Ephesians 2 verse 8 to 10. For by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God, not a result of works, so that no one may boast, for we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which is God prepared beforehand, that we should walk in them. Without grace, salvation is not possible. In this falling world, we can produce nothing good apart from God. This grace has to come from outside of us. This is God's grace. Grace must come from the one you are indebted to, our Lord Jesus. So in order to have faith, you must first receive grace. Faith is something God can produce in you through the Holy Spirit. So it is God who opens your eyes to His grace and gives you the means to have faith. Through faith, you believe that Jesus is who He say He is and that He did what the Bible said He did. You believe in Him for your salvation, that He alone can remove death's hold on you. Those who are saved believe in Christ Jesus through faith alone, by grace alone, and they continue to follow Jesus through obedience and good works. However, obedience and good works are not done in order to receive something or to climb the ladder higher than other believers. Followers of Christ obey and do good works because they are already loved. It is the response of a transformed soul to God's existence and lasting love. God gives us grace and the means to believe through faith. Our faith is acted out through good works, which we do in obedience because of God's great love for us. And we continue to live out our faith for God's glory because we believe that what God has started in us, He will finish. Because God's promises are true and lasting, we can have complete assurance in our salvation in our heavenly future. John 10 verse 28 to 29 tells us, I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all. No one can snatch them out of my Father's hand. If you have relatives that's not saved, your prayers can be a powerful force in the lives of your unsaved relatives, your friends, and even strangers if you know how to pray for them according to the wisdom of the Word of God. It is impossible to make someone accept Christ into their hearts. They have to be willing to do so on their own. John 14 verse 6, Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The most important relationship for every one of us is our relationship with Jesus Christ. Choosing to believe that He is who He claimed to be, the Son of God, and the only way to salvation, and receiving Him by faith as your Lord and Savior, is the most vital act anyone will ever do. We want life. He is the life. We need cleansing. He is the living water. So tonight, we are going to pray a prayer of salvation and renunciation. If you have not given your life to Jesus and invite him to your life, tonight is the night. Let us pray. Dear Lord, I admit that I'm a sinner and have done many things that do not please you. I admit that I have lived my life only for myself and I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I believe that you died on the cross for me to save me and that you rose on the third day. You did what I could not do for myself. I come to you now and ask that you take complete control over my life. Every area of my life that is not pleasing to your name, please change and correct it. From this day forward, help me to live every day for you and in a way that pleases you. I love you, Lord, and I thank you that I will spend eternity with you. Lastly, I would like to ask you to send your Holy Spirit to live and reside in me and to help me along the way. Amen. Tonight I renounce all agreements that I've made with Satan and his demons in the name of Jesus. I renounce and reject any satanic offering that I have ever made in the name of Jesus. I renounce lust, perversion, pornography, immorality, and every unclean spirit that I have made a pact with in the name of Jesus. I renounce and rebuke all witchcraft, all called practices, divination, and sorcery that I have made in Jesus' name. I break all ungodly soul ties in my relationships in my life in the name of Jesus. I renounce and uproot out of my heart hatred, anger, resentment, lack of forgiveness, bitterness, and envy. Release me now in the mighty name of Jesus. 
I renounce and uproot from my life every addiction, every demonic from our chaos spirit that has me bound. I destroy these attacks in the name of Jesus. I renounce from my life to the jealousy, pride, self-righteousness, egotism. Come out of me now in the name of Jesus. I renounce fear, doubt, and unbelief in every tormenting spirit. Come out of me now in the name of Jesus. I renounce all ungodly generational convents that my family members on my father's side, my mother's side, and my ancestors going back 10 generations have made. Let them be broken now in Jesus' name. I renounce any allegiance to the kingdom of darkness and Satan in Jesus' name. I renounce and uproot every demonic word that I have spoken and giving the devil legal rights over my life. I command it to be broken now in Jesus' name. I renounce any spirit husband or spirit wife or any demonic spiritual divorce papers that have come into my life in my dreams. I destroy them tonight in Jesus' name. I uproot out of my life all sickness, all depression and oppression trying to operate in my life. I command it to be destroyed in the name of Jesus. I curse at the root every false word of prophecy spoken over my life, my family, my marriage, my children and my ministry and business in Jesus' name. I destroy all demonic activity and every demonic thought that has been opened in my life. I shut them down in the name of Jesus Christ. I break off me in Jesus' name any residue of any demonic kind. I break off any backlash and retaliation and transfer spirit that is trying to come against my family, my loved one, and my finances in the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, you are building your church through this world. The kingdom of darkness and the gates of hell cannot prevail against it. We do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of the darkness, and against spiritual wickedness in high places. We use the powerful weapons of the word of God, prayer and fasting, to pull down every stronghold that hinders them from knowing you, Lord. We come against Satan and all his tactics that keeps them from receiving the gospel. We use the spiritual armor that you have provided to combat the enemy. We put on the belt of truth and the breastplate of righteousness and stand with the sure-footed stability because we have the gospel of peace. Above all, we take the shield of faith and stand against the fiery darts of the evil one. We also take the helmet of salvation and the word of the Spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit for these lost souls. Lord Jesus, you said that harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Since you are in charge of the harvest, Lord, send us laborers to them. Let us be light to the world, a city set on a hill that cannot be hid. As we go forth, Lord, Prepare us for the living sacrifice for your kingdom. Also, Lord, as you send us, we pray that we go in the power of your spirit. So it is not by our might, nor by our power that we go. We pray that our speech and preaching be not with enticing word of men's wisdom, but be in the demonstration of the spirit and power. We also pray that we preach and teach the kingdom of God and the gospel of Jesus Christ with confidence and boldness. As you send us to them, we pray that you open their eyes, turning them from darkness to light and from power of Satan unto God, so that they might receive forgiveness of sins and their inheritance, which is sanctified by faith that is in you, Lord Jesus. We pray that you open the great door to these lost souls and stand against many adversaries of the gospel. Lord, we also pray that you open the doors that will allow us to speak the gospel of Jesus Christ to them. Lord, we ask that you open an effectual door by producing many signs and wonders by our hands amongst them. As children of God, we pray that you make us strong and do exploits. Lord Jesus, we know that you are able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that works in us. Thus we ask that you make a way out of the wilderness for them and lift up your countenance upon them and give them peace. We pray that you put your spirit within them, taking out their stony hearts and give them a heart of flesh that they may work in your stature. Lord, we pray that you will circumcise their hearts so that they will love you. We pray that they will know the truth and the truth shall set them free. Lord Jesus, you came to this earth to seek and to save that which is lost. So call them out of darkness into your marvelous light. Open their hearts so that they will pay attention to the preaching of the gospel. Let them understand what you mean when you said, except a man be born of water and the spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Lord, we know that you are not allowing any soul to perish, but all should come to repentance. So grant them repentance and the knowledge of the truth, so that they may escape from the snare of the devil. We pray that they will obey the gospel, your death, your burial, and resurrection. 
by obeying, by repenting, being baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, speaking with other tongues as the Spirit gives them utterance. You declare that in the last day you will pour out your Spirit on all flesh. So we know this promise includes these lost souls. Acts 4 verse 12 says, Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. O Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, we are asking you to save this lost soul tonight. Amen.